Hi everybody, it's Deanna with ToolsOfEnergyProtection.com, your energy shift expert. I am here to talk about the energy shift between January 26th and February 1st, 2020. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's almost February 2020. It seems like time is just going so, so fast. I know I say that every week, but it really does seem fast. But anyway, what's happening this week is if you really take a look up in the evening sky, you're going to see an arc of planets. So you're going to kind of see them aligned basically in an arc shape. And this is getting ready for December 2020 when we have a very unusual alignment of planets. But this is kind of the cranking or the getting ready. If you imagine gears kind of click, 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 or if you uh, take a roller coaster ride and, you know, click, 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 before it goes down, that's... <laughs> But don't worry, we're not going down in December. It's just that that's what's going on. Now the energies are shifting and they're coming into a state of alignment that is really pushing our emotional energy bodies. So what you're going to see is Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, the Sun, Mercury, and Venus all shifting our internal voices, our internal energies. So what you might be noticing is that you might be thinking about your childhood a lot, maybe how your parents treated you um, that wasn't stellar, and how that's affected you, maybe how it affected your parenting, or how it affects money, mostly how our parents raised us, orients us in the world about how we feel about money. So if you have lots of money, that's a lot of energy that you were able to negotiate in just right ways in order to receive a large reward. Uh, if you didn't, if that didn't happen in your childhood, you know, perhaps you're struggling with it now. And don't worry, you can still work with it. You know, as long as you can create a way to have viable income, you can turn the energies around so that your finances will look better. Uh, it does take some discipline. It takes looking at self-worth, self-love, and self-value in order to shift some behaviors that may have been keeping you in a position with not much money. So this week, we also want to look at uh, the stability of our lives. And that's what we're being pushed into. So you may notice a lot of high intensity about feelings and emotions, and you also might notice low intensity. So it really is uh, like hour to hour, minute to minute, sometimes, you know, just hours to hours, you might feel angry and confused and frustrated and all these nasty, negative messages going in your mind about how you're going to do this and that, get back at this person. And you're like, stop! And you want to push those down. This week when they're coming up, just know that the planets are really working on our emotional energy bodies. That's what's happening. It's asking us to really dig deep and take some, some time. And so for myself, I'm looking at chemical balance in my body, chemical balance in my mind. I'm looking at the pH and alkalinity levels. So if you don't know about that, you can look up alkaline in the human body or alkaline in the body. And you can also get some test strips that you can um, use either with uh, spit or urine and see where your alkalinity. I tend to run very acid because of the foods I like to eat and the coffee that I like to drink. <laughs> so I will have to adapt the intake of my food. And I will also have to use some other things in the meantime till I can get that stable because an alkaline body does not support dis-ease and or cancer. So keeping your body in alkaline really helps it run better. It's like having clean motor oil in your car. You don't just keep adding oil and never change it because there needs to be a level of cleanliness and the ability for the joints to work, that kind of thing. So this week, as far as stones go, um, I would recommend that if you have several, that you lay them out in front of you. Take a nice deep breath, and then when you exhale, focus up here on in between your eyebrows and above the bridge of your nose back in the area called the amygdala. If you don't know where it is, look it up. It's, it's back in this area, but like straight back from here. So when you take a nice deep breath in, put your stones out first, you know, on a, on a clean surface, you know, there's no other clutter on it. Take a nice deep breath and as you breathe in, hold it and then as you exhale, almost exhale from the third eye, from the amygdala down onto the stones. If that doesn't work, try breathing the air in first. 
But what you're looking to do is connect your sense of knowing to the stones and see which ones you need this week. You already have them in your possession. There's nothing new to get this week because you already own them. The other thing I recommend that you do is check out charcoal. Now that's charcoal for the human body. So I'm switching, sorry, back. There's so many things my guides are telling me uh, to the human body. And charcoal is something that you can get in a pill form from a health food store and take it and it will help detox your body. So there's a lot of that going on. So as your emotions are up and down, notice where your body chemistry is. Things like alcohol and drugs and smoking and um, lack of water and a lot of coffee or energy drinks or sugar will really um, cause your body chemistry to be off balance because they do different things. Look each one of those up and see what it does to the human body. It, it can stimulate the fight or flight sense and can wear you down and that leaves you open to the flu. So again this week it, it's really about what's in here and you know go look up Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Sun, Mercury, Venus and see what they're doing they're absolutely beautiful on the horizon but having them in that arc type pattern with the Sun just really brings a lot of feelings and emotions in you know the the Venetian or, or Venus energy is usually centered around love and the Mars energy usually around strength. Jupiter is usually around balancing, you know, but not always. And Mercury is usually centered around, I'm going to do it, Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Mercury um, usually has a lot to do with the organs and glands, you know, in this area. So take some time to look at that this week. And know that if you're having a particularly tough day, time to check what's going in your mouth. You know, is it fatty and fried foods? Even salt sometimes, if you get too much of it, will have a negative effect. Balance your body, balance your emotions, and that will help the mind. If you're particularly grumpy or angry, make sure that you take that anger out somewhere else besides on the people around you. I've been going to the gym once, sometimes twice a day, just to work through this. You can walk around the block. If you don't belong to a gym, you can do jumping jacks or push-ups or stretching. There's a bazillion things on the internet on how to exercise that's free videos. So find something. There's no reason not to. You know, even if you're, you know, like in a wheelchair or something, there's exercises to do with the hands, you know, to get your heart rate going. There's simply no excuse for not stretching, okay? You've got to get your body moving. Balance out the diet. See what's right for your blood type, for your body type. And, and be aware of your thoughts and emotions and work through them as much as you can. If you're having trouble with working through the emotions, go to toolsofenergyprotection.com, click on appointments or sessions, and go down to where it says book online, and we'll get together and help you straighten that out. Otherwise, have a great and wonderful week. I will see you, believe it or not, in February. <laughs> mm, big hugs and kisses. Bye-bye. Have a good week.